Hello, I'm Bridget from Bridget Flowers and welcome to my YouTube channel. For all of you who have watched my first video about floristry tools, today you're going to start using those tools to make a very simple centerpiece. And for all of you who didn't watch this video, perhaps it's a good idea to go back to this video and see what, what uh, kind of tools you need to start working with flowers. So as I said, today we're working, we're making a very simple centerpiece. So before we start making this, you have to arrange a few very simple materials. So you can go to either your flower shop or your local supermarket or flower market. Uh, for me, this time I bought some very simple white roses a bunch. And I bought a bunch of white chips of video. So I choose to keep the flowers, the colors in whites and greens because that's always a safe option. But if you want to introduce a little bit of color in your arrangements, perhaps you would like to go for some yellow or for some pink. For example, pinks and purples is also quite close to each other and that will work quite good um, in your arrangements. Uh, and then the other tip to, uh, to choose your flowers is to go for a round shape and for a smaller fill of flower. Uh, because that's easy to, to mix them all together. Uh, and then the next thing that you need to arrange is some greenery. So you can maybe buy that as well from your flower market or from your supermarket. Or you can do what I did and just cut some from your garden. So I cut some, some Acer from my garden this morning. And I have also some Mexican orange. And when you use some greenery with your flowers, uh, the arrangement is going to look much more natural and it's also good to, to cover all the floral foam. So when you have all your flowers and greenery sorted, you also need to get some of your tools ready. So you need to have your knife, because your knife, um, you need to shape your floral foam with this and also to cut uh, your flowers. Uh, and if you're not sure to work with a knife yet, maybe it's a good to, uh, to start working with a scissor or with a floral snipper and then see how you get on with this and then afterwards you can continue working with a knife after a few weeks. Then you need also some floral tape. Uh, the floral tape is waterproof and when you, um, when you have for example wet foam you need to tape your foam to your tray. If you do this with regular tape then uh, it's, it's not as, uh, as solid as the floral tape and you cannot move it from one table to the other table for example. Um, so then we need some foam, this one is already pre-soaked and you can buy foam for example from Amazon or from eBay or in your, uh, your local uh, garden center. Uh, and then the last thing that you need to arrange is, uh, is a tray, a tray to catch the water. So you can either use uh, a plastic tray, maybe even like a, a plate, a dining table plate or, um, or a bowl. Um, and then uh, we use the tape to, to fix the foam on this. So yeah, when you have all your materials ready, then come back to, to my third lesson and then I show you uh, how to make the arrangements. So please let me know if you have any questions. Um, I see you in my, my third lesson. Bye bye.